Hello students, welcome to Dr. Shorab sir classes. So in this particular video you can see that we are solving the advanced placement calculus AB, the free response part. As you know that those who are dealing with this advanced placement, so this is one of the most challenging section and you can see that it is also one of the most scoring part where the students who are on this upper end on this particular section they can score they can increase an overall score if they score well in this particular thing so those who are trying to deal with this particular section so here is a five point strategy from my side so if you follow this strategy then it will surely increase your score so the first point is your read each question carefully point number two you have to maximize your score on the multiple parts question point number three you have to share your thought process point four is your clarity you must be clear and concise and point five you have to usage of the proper penmanship so this five point strategy along with your hard work and practice will surely fetch you a very good marks in this particular frq sections so as you know this to master this strategy particularly where you have to the thought, thought process what you have in mind how you approach the problem and be clear and concise this, so this particular this clarity and the share so these two things you will only gain I, only through practice so reading the question maximizing your points on the multiple part sharing your thought process your clarity and your usage of the proper penmanship so along with your practice so this makes a five point strategy to crack this particular sec section this frq so now let us move to the question six of today and this is a part b you can see and you know that and this is uh, the graphing calculator is not allowed here so what you have to do you have to do by hand now the first question we will solve the question one uh 6a so it is giving that functions f g and h are twice differentiable functions with g2 is equal to h2 equal to 4 and the line y equal to 4 plus 2 by 3 x minus of 2 is tangent to both the graph of g at x equal to 2 and the graph of h at x equal to 2 so we have to find h prime 2 so this h prime 2 is simple so it will be simply 2 by 3 right so that is the part for this question for the is a this you can see the age is the twice differentiable yes so if you differentiate is so you will get uh, a h prime of 2 it will be simply 2 by 3 right now there is nothing with this question so this is part a so now let's move to this part b it is given that let a be the function given by a x equal to 3 x s cube h x you have to write an expression for a prime x you have to find a prime 2 okay now this is question part b so a prime x is equal to 9 x square h x plus 3 x s cube h prime x so a prime 2 it will be simply 9 2 square hx plus 3 2 cube h prime x so here it is 6 36 into 4 okay h of x plus 24 into 2 by 3 so h prime of x so that is it's giving you 160 so that is the answer for part b now let us see what part c says the c is saying the function h satisfies the equation the hx is equal to x square minus 4 by 1 minus fx cube for x not equal to 2 it is known that limit x tends to 2 hx can be evaluated using the l hospitals rule yeah and use this uh, limit x tends to 2 hx to find f2 and f prime 2 show the work that leads to your answers you have to show the total work over here so 
So since h is differentiable, this we can say this twice differentiable is given. Okay. This h is also continuous, sorry. So h is continuous. So limit x tends to 2 hx is equal to h2 equal to 4 right so also this limit x tends to 2 h of x that is first of all you can say the limit x tends to 2 put the value of hx there is x square minus 4 1 minus f of x whole cube right f of x of whole cube yeah so this is the function so limit x tends to 2 we have this x square minus 4 1 minus f x cube it is equal to 4 okay so because this you know that the limit x tends to 2 this x square minus 4 it will be 0 right it will be equal to 0 so we must also have this limit x tends to 2 1 minus f of x is also equal to 0 so thus from here we can write that limit x tends to 2 f of x is equal to 1 ok so this is all about h now f is also ok so as f is also differentiable f is continuous right so we can write that f of 2 is equal to limit x tends to 2 f of x is equal to 1 right so f tends to 2 f of x is equal to so, f is twice differentiable. So, f is twice differentiable. So, f of prime, it is also is continuous. It is also continuous. So, we can say that this limit x tends to 2, f prime x is equal to f prime 2 it exists simply we can write that right so now the l using the l hospitals rule we have to find the answer that is the l hospital rule so applying this l hospital rule we have to find the value of the limit that is limit x tends to 2 we have this x square minus 4 by 1 minus f x cube this one so it will be equal to so to the derivative limit x tends to 2 it will be 2x by minus 3 f of x whole square f prime x right so if we put the value so it will be simply 4 by minus 3 1 square f of f prime 2 so it will be simply you will get at this 4 so where this f of prime 2 yes so this f prime 2 is equal to minus 1 by 3 right So this is for the part C.
So we have to find the limit x uh, using this limit hx to find f2 and f prime 2. We are finding it. Now the last part that is a part d. So it is known that gx is less than equal to hx for x in the interval 1 to 3. Let k be a function satisfying gx less than equal to kx less than equal to hx for 1 less than x less than 3. So is k continuous at x equal to 2? We have to find this whether this k is continuous at x equal to 2 and along with that we have to justify the answer. Okay, So let's start with solving the part D. So here you note that that is G and H they are differential. Right? Since they are differentiable they are also continuous. Right? So, we can write this limit x tends to 2 gx is equal to g2 equal to 4 and limit x tends to 2 h of x equal to h of 2 is equal to 4. Right? So, because but as you can know that this g of x is less than or equal to kx which is also less than or equal to hx for the 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3. It follows from the squeeze theorem. The squeeze theorem that limit x tends to 2 k of x is equal to Also, you can find that also this 4 is equal to nothing but g of 2, which is less than or equal to k of 2, which is less than or equal to h of 2, right, which is equal to 4. So, from here you can see that k of 2 is equal to 4. So, the k is continuous at point, at which point at x equal to 2. Okay. So that is for the part D. Now let us understand the point distribution over here from part A to part uh, D. So this one for A it is one point. Okay. So the next one uh, this product rule you have this one point, point, point uh, for part B. We are find the A prime okay so this answer will give you a prime is 1 and the answer will give you 1 point so part 4 this limit this ratio gives you 1 point the f of 2 finding the value of f of 2 is 0.1 okay so this one this will give you 1 point and again using the l hospitals rule this will fetch you one point and finally the value of a prime two will fetch you one point. this four points out of there and this is the last part we have to find this is continuous with the justification so this is all about the one point okay so this total nine points one plus one plus three four five six seven eight nine so nine points for so this is not minus one, this is plus one. Yeah. So that's all about the question number six.